Man, you know, it's 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 kind of a break in the action. It's kind of some transition, but you know, this is a guy who's really inspired me, and um, you know, his story will pretty much inspire everyone. And I invite him on, on the show today. I know it's not Sam Jones, it's not Steph Curry, Danny Green, Jesse Holly, or Nate McMillan, but um, it's all the same, man. Just being inspired and everything. Y'all, please welcome. And it's not every day you get to talk to a Grammy Award winner, man. Y'all, please welcome <laughs> to the show, Mr. Ninth Wonder. What's up, boy? Hey, how you doing, man? What's going on with you? Man, I, I'm good, man. I'm good. I've been hosting this all day, man. So, you know, it's 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 great, been fun and exciting, man. So you're the closure, man. You're the baton. So we're going to pass this to you. We got six <laughs> minutes in the words of Dougie Fresh, <laughs> we got six minutes, and, uh, and, and we're going to knock this out, man. But, you know, I, I just want to start, Pat, because, um, you know, I, I think it's an interesting perspective because everyone nowadays, this generation, all the basketball players and football players and just athletes overall want to be hip-hop producers and rappers, and all rappers right. and hip-hop producers want to be basketball players. Where do you right. think that, that coincides? Like, where did that come from? I mean, if you really look at it, man, it's, it's really uh, the rise of hip-hop in the 80s was actually the, the renaissance and the rebirth of NBA basketball. I mean, if you look at Matt Johnson and, and the Larry Bird years, the NBA really took off in the 80s. Not to say there wasn't a rich and storied organization before that, but then the 80s, it really took off, and it really took off on the marketing standpoint. People started to love it more. It became more of America's pastime. Right. So hip-hop was the same way. Hip-hop became, as in came up in the 80s at the same time. So now you got kids who's idolizing Michael Jordan and at the same time idolizing LL Cool J. You see what I mean? Right, I got so you. That's why... It's so much of a love in between both of those, you know, both of those institutions. And now you got a bunch of grown, grown guys that they just love hip hop and basketball, all or just hip hop and sports. Period. They just love it all together because it, all of the rise of media, especially in media, was in the '80s. And if you ever lived, if you grew up in the '80s, you got it all at one one point, and you got it all at one time. So that's why the time with music and sports always. Right. Right. Good, man. Lavelle Moten, Chris Hooks on the David Glenn Show. Right now, if you joined us late, we're talking to Grammy Award winning producer, Mr. Ninth Wonder. We got three minutes left, man. And, you know, one of the questions and one of the reasons I wanted you to come on because the greatest of all time debate. And I, re I, re I respect everyone's opinion from the Oscar Robinsons to the Dr. J's. But tell me and tell the world, because I already know, who is the greatest basketball player of all time in your opinion and why the greatest basketball player of all time that <laughs> touch a basketball is a guy who was born in brooklyn from wilmington north carolina <laughs> by the name of michael jeffrey jordan born february 7th <laughs> 1963 okay and so that's that's the greatest of all time and for so many reasons we don't have time to get into it but that that's the greatest basketball player of all time he, he never lost in the finals so many reasons why this guy's the greatest. He's a, the ultimate competitor. He's the ultimate in killer instinct on the floor. Like you'll put his hand, you'll put the ball in his hands before you put it in anybody's hands in history. Right. And so that's, that's what it is. Now we had the great Sam Jones on on here today, and and I just want to know from your perspective, who would have won? Who who would have won between Michael Jordan's Bulls teams and and Sam's? Celtics teams, because Sam said between just with him and Bill Russell, they had 21 rings between them two right there. So, <laughs> yeah. and, that, and, 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 I, and I respect the great Bill Russell. He's one of the greatest players of all time. And we also have to look at the situation. I may get jumped on for Bill Russell fans. <laughs> we have to look at Bill Russell's competition, like right. the height of his competition. Like if what was his competition, but was it a lot of a lot of agile big men in the league when he was in the league. And I might get jumped on by saying that. No, no, we respect that. That's why that we is, got you. That is, that's just the, you know, that's just the, 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 you know, the standpoint. But as Joe Dumas said about Michael Jordan himself, who was one of the greatest defenders on Mike, he said, I can't see anybody saying, oh, this guy was just great for his time. He's great before our time, after our time. Everybody has to really look at that. He's the Michael Jackson of our sport. And that's what it is. So, we just got to learn to live with that, man. Everybody be okay. 
You know what I mean? And there it is, <laughs> folks. There it is, folks. Good friend, <laughs> Mr. Ninth Wonder. Y'all follow him on on at Twitter on Twitter at Ninth Wonder Music, uh, and also go out and support his record label, uh, Jamla Records. He has a uh, ex point guard at UNC by the name of Quentin Thomas, who's an incredible rapper right. and a lovely MC by the name of Rhapsody. Man, y'all <laughs> gotta go out there and support her, man. Please go up and pick that. Um, she got game mixtape out in stores. Ninth, I appreciate you coming on, my brother, man. Thank you so much for giving your perspective. We love how hip-hop mingles and intertwines with, with basketball and just athletics in general, man, and we're going to come back and get you on for like an hour. And pick up my man's book, Lavelle Moulton's book, please. Pick that, that up. There you go. I appreciate that, boss. Take care of yourself, right, big time. Thank you very Thank much, you. Ninth. All right. Thank you.